Welcome to this edition of uh, Week in Review. I'm Marlon Paley, and next to me, uh, Mackenzie Campbell, and next to her, Ganim Hanna. And bringing up the key position, Brianna Neely. Uh, we're here to uh, welcome you to 2018. Uh, this is the uh, second broadcast of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network of Week in Review to uh, establish you in the new year. And we're going to do that. Uh, by starting out with the verse of the day. Ganim Hanna has a verse that we like to share with you uh, on this edition of Week in Review. Uh, Ganim? Sure, Marlon. I'm going to read uh, from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 through 4. And it said, Blessed the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comfort us in all our afflictions so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Here's God, God of comfort as usual. And we are in the ministry work and the business of sharing God's word, God's peace, God's comfort throughout the world to light up lives and bless nations, Marlon. So this affliction, you know, it seems to follow Christ to wherever he goes, Mackenzie. Uh, what do you think about that? Christ never promised us a rose garden. Right. That's how it is with, you know, Christians. We are constantly tempted by Satan, and we go through a lot of hardships. I think Satan likes to throw darts or, you know, fiery swords at us throughout this life. Um, but God can comfort us in those. So. Yeah, He's promised to see us through it. Mm -hmm. you know, he doesn't uh, promise us that we won't be persecuted because, I mean, He was persecuted. Right. He, he, he promised us everything that He had to, to uh, go through, uh, but just not as severely, uh, for He also is there to give us comfort and protection and see us through. The truth is we do not go through difficulties. We will never grow in character, we'll never grow in faith. God seems to seize on these opportunities to help us grow. I don't think He brings it on us, but He guards us, He guides us, and He helps us grow. And I think most of us here and out there, we can all look, look, look back in retrospect to things, faces in life that was uncomfortable, um, but we grew. We grew out of it, and we learned good lessons, and I think it makes us better believers and better citizens, both on this earth and for the future uh, new city of Jerusalem. Well, the Bible talks us, uh, tell us about refining fire. You know, God also says that uh, He loves those whom He chastens. Mm. And that is uh, really uh, required for us. I mean, look at, look at Moses. He spent the first half of his life uh, being uh, educated in, in the Egyptian way. And then it took 40 years for him to unlearn that and learn, you know, the humility of God. Yep. And, you know, that just tells you the Egyptian way is self-centered. It's all about me. You know, he was the, the greatest example is when he killed that Egyptian that was beating the slaves uh, in the desert uh, because he was going to save, you know, the nation of Israel, not God. But we know it's the other way around, and that's why uh, we have these trials and tribulations. But praise God, He's there to comfort us and get us out of it, and you know, always maintain a, a, a smile on our face. The Lord tells us to be thankful for everything, the good and the bad. That's interesting. You mentioned Moses because I think he tried to do it the earthly way, not the godly mm -hmm. way, and God took all these years to help him grow, to learn. He had to walk through the hall path. And it's funny, it takes sometimes four years for us to grow, and some of us lifetime to grow, but God has patience, and God stay with us to bring us humility and growth. And, uh, you know, I don't think we should beat ourselves for mistakes we make, but we should rely on God to help us grow out of these uh, uh, phases of our lives and become better mm -hmm. and stronger. Moses went through it, and many prophets throughout the Bible did as well. Well, speaking of growth, uh, Loma Linda Broadcasting has been growing for the last 20 years. You know, we started out uh, in kind of like a borrowed, rented facility and spaces and got this um, ministry off, off the ground. And now uh, it's uh, pretty well established. Where are we going from here uh, in 2018, Cam? 
Well, Marlon, um, the world is a big place and technology is growing and we have to grow with technology to expand uh, our reach to more homes, uh, reaching every soul we can, one at a time or 10 at a time, uh, or thousands at a time, just depending which city and which infrastructure, which distribution cable system we're going through. Uh, so with technology growth, we're also acquiring uh, uh, several of our key uh, vice presidents uh, led by Daryl Mandel, working hard on expanding our distribution. Uh, although we have worldwide reach, we want to be able to accommodate the masses because right now we, we kind of gamble that no more than certain maximum number will log on to view us all at the same time. But there's a maximum to how many can view us simultaneously at the same time. So we're working on expanding that so as our signals or our channels become more known worldwide and more simultaneous viewers join to watch, we can accommodate them without cutting anyone off. And that, that is actually as simple as it may sound. That's a very complex and costly process. But we are in the business of sharing the good news of Jesus. And uh, uh, we have to step out in faith as we've always had in the past. And the Lord will deliver. We're expanding to multiple new platforms, consumer platforms, so people can get us almost on any, any streaming device, regardless of brand or model. That's really important uh, you know, to take advantage of uh, the technologies uh, that are offered today. You know, it uh, used to be satellite dish is the only way you can go, and then the cable company, and then now we have tablets and phones and all kinds, iPads and hotspot devices that you can, you know, to turn your phone in to to uh, deliver this message of the soon coming of Jesus Christ, His saving grace. You know, it has to be uh, taken advantage of through this talk, uh, technology, and I'm so grateful for you as an audience because you have enabled the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network to just do just that. I mean, look at, uh, we have three Eng English channels. What are they? Well, we have the Smart Lifestyle TV one, we have His Light, and then we have His Word. Five foreign uh, channels. Brianna? Uh, yes, we have the Korean channel, the Latino channel, the South Asia channel, the Chinese channel, and the Arabic channel, and possibly a new edition coming soon. Mm -hmm. Did I hear you say Korean channel? Yes. So, <laughs> so man. Isn't it amazing in this time of age, we hear about all these nations and about all the different nationalities, and we're able to reach them all, not to say each and every one of them logging in, but we're able to penetrate these communities and share the good news of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's a miracle, Marlon. Mm -hmm. That's almost like speaking in tongues, except the ministry speaking in tongues, not us. Speaking in all these different languages to reach out to different people from different parts of the world with the same message of Jesus Christ. It's, it's unified according to Scripture. And that's why I really like the Korean channel, because it takes love to a part of the world that really needs it. You know, North Korea really needs it. South Korea really needs it. You know, we at home really need it, and Jesus is love. And, you know, they have all kinds of things going on. I don't hear very much talk about love uh, in that part of the world. But Loma Linda Broadcasting Network is able to get into that part of the world and speak uh, the main dialect of the Korean language to... Uh, that's the only way we can bring peace to this earth. Because the Bible promises us no peace. They say peace, peace, and what? Sudden destruction. Sudden destruction. But also the gospel shall be preached to all nations, mm -hmm. and then the end will come. And, and we have the assurance during that sudden destruction that we'll have God's favor and God's pr protection. It says a thousand at your right side, ten thousand at your, but not a hair in your head would be touched. Mm -hmm. So we have, have that, uh, that promise. Well, let's move on. Unless anybody has anything to add <laughs> <laughs> to that to topic, uh, Brianna, what, what do you have to do us for us today? Well, Marlon, I really want to encourage our viewers out there to actually share LLBN with their friends, their family, their neighbors, people at work that they want to witness to. You can go to our website, LLBN.tv, and. You can access all of our channels there, our live streaming through YouTube. You can find that all there. And if streaming is not an option that you really like and you'd rather have a cable company 
where you can watch LLB and you can do that. But you have to call into your local cable companies and ask for the channels um, and share that with your neighbors as well and your friends and your family. You know, sharing the gospel that uh, has been uh, broadcast by LLBN is your mission right here. This is a mission field. And uh, I'm sure, so glad that uh, Brianna mentioned that because uh, the past week, uh, the LLBN has been involved uh, with the medical center here in town uh, to bring uh, a very special series of programs. And uh, we're going to give you a second chance at those programs, aren't we, McKenzie? Mm hmm Tell us so about it. So the morning program was called I Am Listening. It was a half-hour program. We're going to be showing that this next week. And so the times that it's playing is 5.30 p.m. on His Word, and this is Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. on His Light. So that's something to tune into. Um, they usually start off with a listening exercise, so either like a music selection that's played or something else, and then they'll have someone speak. And a lot of times this week it's been testimonies, which has been a blessing. So. Yeah, these testimonies, uh, some of them are brought by actual patients of, of the medical center that uh, received miraculous healings, and the stories are just uh, fabulous. You don't mm -hmm. want to miss that. Anything else? I think that's it. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, Ganem, what is our financial picture? I mean, we talked about the end of the year, uh, about uh, 280,000, 290,000 outstanding. Uh, how are we doing? Marlon, we worked hard all year long. We prayed, we talked to our viewers, and by God's grace and the love in the hearts of our viewers who also are donors, or exclusively are donors, because all our income comes from them, we balanced our bank statement. We are in the black. We're not in debt. We are Praise God. not a penny mm -hmm. under. As a matter of fact, we had a little extra. We have a little reserve when in the bank that we need to use for some projects that are much needed and overdue. So thank you, our beloved friends. May God bless you for blessing the minister of LLBN to bless lives around the globe. Well, let's close it off with some of your cards and letters. You know, we love to hear from you. No matter what you have to say, please continue to send them. And uh, here's just a sampling from McKenzie. So this first one is from Trish from Polson, Montana. She says, thank you so Thank you for your broadcast. They are uplifting, non-condemning, and filled with grace, truth, and assurance of salvation, something many of us struggle with. God bless each one of you. Keep singing, keep praying, keep preaching the good news. Boy, I really appreciate that letter mm -hmm. because, you know, it's all about the assurance. You know, we are guaranteed a seat in our own mansion in heaven that Jesus is prepared for us. And, uh, you know, we don't want a, our mansion to be empty. And so uh, take advantage of the insurance, assurance that you are saved. Jesus Christ is your Savior. You have chosen him to be your life for eternity. Isn't that exciting? Uh, what else do you have? I have one more letter. Or actually, I have two more, but depending on how much time we have. We're getting close. So. <laughs> this is from Lila from Tacoma Park. Um, and she says, My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my best wishes for the new year. May God continue to bless you for the wonderful ministry you're doing, showing God's love to so many in the world. Keep up the good works. We want Jesus to come back soon. Thank you for writing, and uh, please continue to write. Ganem, you got five seconds for the last word. We have a thousand years to live with Jesus on the new city of Jerusalem, and I'm looking forward to a thousand years. Well, hopefully, we'll all meet each other there one day soon. Until next time, God bless you from all of us on Week in Review. <laughs>